Man of Peace, the Dalai Lama's graphic biography told by us, William Myers, myself, people at Tibet House, and researchers who have researched his life. We're almost finished. We have only another 20, 30 pages to go. We finished completely in the form of uncolored pages, what are called thumbnail sketches of the pages, in time for His Holiness's birthday, as we said we would. But those pages have to be edited and colored, and then the bubbles of dialogue put on like you do in a comic book, and then we have to go back over the whole thing and polish it. So we have another two, three months of work to do on it before it's ready for the print uh, process, which itself is costly and also will take about a month to six weeks and of the first edition. So we still need your help more than ever now that we're in the end result. We have a donor and we are scraping every barrel we can find and you have already given generously, but we need to get over a certain threshold and uh, so we need more help. And I just want to say this, this book really tells the story as it is. <laughs> It tells His Holiness life, and actually two-thirds of His Holiness life or more is outside of Tibet after he escaped when he was 24 years old. He's now 80 years old. And that story has never really, he told it himself in his own pleasant way, you know, freedom in exile. And a very mild and nice story, but he didn't cut away to what's happening in Tibet. Well, he is struggling for a hearing of the plight of his people, for the support of the governments and individuals, to put like for the support of world, the heart of the world, to really put pressure on the leadership of China. The Chinese people are more and more loving Tibet themselves. Tibetan Buddhism is becoming a major thing for them, so much so that the Chinese are demanding. Chinese communists are demanding that they should be the ones to appoint the next Dalai Lama. And the Dalai Lama is not allowed to say, the present Dalai Lama is not allowed to say he doesn't want to incarnate as a political leader of his country. And he's written the constitution for future autonomous Tibet, as part of China but with a local autonomy, where he would not serve in a political role. And the Chinese say that's not allowed. There will be another Dalai Lama, we will appoint him. That shows that the people are liking Tibetan Buddhism. So in a way, the Dalai Lama's battle for the hearts, even of the Chinese people, is working in a way. But China has a counter-offensive, all kinds of propaganda against him, all kinds of negative things being said about him. And some leftist Westerners pick up that propaganda, they write about it. Like, and so our story is really important, your story that you are helping us fund. So please make more donations as generously as you can so we can finish the Man of Peace as soon as possible. We hope to have it out by the Losar of the coming new year, sometime in February of 2016. Hopefully the first edition will be out with your help. So please give generously and frequently uh, to the Man of Peace project. Thank you very much.